friends welcome back to another video and this week I'm going to be showing you guys what I cooked for my family in a full week so starting out with Monday I'm um, just starting off with this ground beef this was a five pound bag originally but I cut it into um, not half I basically cut it to where I'm cooking up about three pounds here and then I put away two pounds for another dinner so I'm going ahead and using my tool to get that um, all broken up and then I forgot to add my garlic so I'm doing that now and then I'm gonna go ahead and season my meat as well for Monday I'm gonna be cooking just a simple spaghetti recipe you guys I don't do a whole lot with my spaghetti over the years I've just learned to keep it simple the kids and my husband really like simplicity when it comes to meals so I don't do a whole lot of extra stuff but I hope you guys will still enjoy this video so um, I'm just seasoning up my spaghetti with a little bit of Lari's seasoning salt some black pepper and also some Italian seasoning I'm also going to be using some of this onion powder that I got from Sam's Club y'all this is like it has kind of become clumpy just a little bit because I've had it for so long. I'm almost done with it. Um, it's not expired, so I'm still just making it work, okay? But yes, I'm going to go ahead and use my meat separator tool and just get the meat all nice and browned up. Next, I'm going to be bringing some water to the stove um, i'm here i'm gonna be putting my spaghetti noodles in it i'm just gonna add in a little bit of the salt and some olive oil this is just to make sure that the noodles don't stick together i have heard people say don't put too much olive oil in pasta because it makes the sauce not stick to your noodles but i actually haven't had that problem so this is what i'm doing i'm also going to be taking another pot um, and just putting water in it so that i can make some corn on the cob i'm doing four of these large corn on the cobs and then for the kids whenever i get ready to feed them i will just uh cut it in half okay as y'all can see i ended up transferring my corn on the cob to a bigger pot because that other pot just was not big enough and yes that was the milk that i added to my corn y'all that is my secret recipe to get it to just taste better and be a little bit more softer it gives it great flavor so um, i'm also adding in some sugar so it's, it's gonna be sweet corn on the cob um, right here i'm just draining off my noodles um giving my pasta a little bit of a rinse just to get some of that extra starch off of it um, and then i'm also going to be draining my meat so this is how i drain my grease you guys i do not drain my grease my meat directly into the uh the drain i just do not do that so i drain it into a bowl first and then i take the grease from the bowl and when it solidifies i put it in a bag and then into the trash can and that is how i get rid of my grease um, so yeah, I'm using the ragu sauce. This is just our favorite. Sometimes I switch back and forth from prego to ragu. Just depends on what's on sale. But I'm adding that in. And we like a lot of sauce because we do not like dry spaghetti. And as y'all can see, this is a lot of noodles. So I did need extra sauce. So, um, but I'm starting out first just mixing everything up. Getting it all mixed up so that I can see what I have and what I need to add. I did end up going back and adding another can of the ragu. Just because also if this is just sitting, like if the corn is not done yet it will tend to get a little bit dry so i'm done with that i'm going to go ahead and put the top on it and i'm going to be making some of this garlic texas toast my husband loved this toast so i'm going to go ahead and make this entire box but i'm also going to do some breadsticks because my little baby christian specifically requested breadsticks so i'm also going to just do him a couple of those and then that is what the spaghetti is looking like everything is ready to go and we are ready to eat you guys simple spaghetti dinner All right, you guys, so for Tuesday, it was so cold outside, so I ended up doing just a chili recipe. So here I am taking a half a bag of black beans, and I'm just going through them right now, making sure there's no rocks in them, taking out some of the split ones or any of the ones that just look funky or weird. I'm just going ahead and removing those, and then I'm going to hit these with a quick rinse. I am starting these early in the morning before the kids went to school because they will need several hours to cook down. I'm cooking them up in the crock pot, so after I rinse them, I just dumped them directly into the crock pot and then added six cups of water. It's going to need plenty of water so that the beans can get nice and soft. This is about how many beans I had left. It was just like a half a bag so you guys can kind of see how much I used. This is the seasoning that I'm using, you guys. I'm using Lari Paprika Onion Powder. That one that does not have a label is garlic powder, chili powder, black pepper, and some adobo seasoning. I do season heavily, you guys, to this chili because with all the water and all the beans, it just soaks it all up and it does lose quite a bit of flavor. 
Um, the key to a great chili is obviously flavor. And I do not do bell peppers and onions, so this is my way of getting some extra flavor in there. I let those cook on high for four hours. And then whenever those were done, I added two cans of the tomato sauce, some petite diced tomatoes. And yes, y'all, I added a chili packet. This was not salty, okay? Trust me. Don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> So I'm giving that a quick stir and I'm just letting I'm gonna let that simmer for about another hour or so while I go ahead and get started on the other ground beef. This is the two pounds that I was telling you guys about from the very beginning of the week or from the day before. I had a five pound bag and I cut it um, to where I would have three pounds for the spaghetti and this was a leftover two pounds that I added into the chili. Um, what goes better with chili? cornbread hello so yes i'm going ahead and cooking up two boxes of this jiffy cornbread i'm just doing it according to the box instructions which is just the egg and some milk so i'm going ahead and getting that thoroughly mixed together and then i'm just going to add that into a baking dish that i've already buttered and get it into the oven for three on 350 for about 20 to 25 minutes Alrighty, guys so here i'm just taking my little colander that i got from dollar tree <laughs> so um it's a little bit smaller so i am using it to drain off my meat just before i add it into my chili so yes that chili is piping hot i'm gonna go ahead and get that drained meat um into the chili give it a nice good stir and it is literally gonna be ready to eat That cornbread is right out of the oven and I'm going ahead and getting some butter on there while it's piping hot so that it can melt. And this is what the chili looks like after I added my topping. Just a little bit of shredded cheese and sour cream and y'all this was so good. It had the house smelling so good. For Wednesdays, I always have to do something extremely quick because we do have Bible studies. So um, when the boys come home from school, we have to hurry and get out the door. So I'm just keeping it simple and I'm doing just a bag of these chicken wing sections. Um, nothing glamorous or extraordinary. I'm just setting them up real quick, uh, separating them, making sure there's none laying on top of each other. And I'm just going to season them up really, really good. Um, I'm using some lari, some black peppers, some paprika, some adobo. Um, Y'all, I do use like a lot of different seasonings um, because as I'm cooking them from frozen they will melt off and a lot of the seasonings will melt off with them so the key is just to try to make sure that they have enough seasoning left on them after they come out of the oven so um, this is just like regular baked chicken wings the kids and I and my husband we really really love it so I'm doing this and also some crinkle cut french fries in the air fryer and y'all that is literally going to be dinner super easy A few moments later. That wraps up Wednesday's dinner. For Thursday, the boys begged me to get pizza. I ended up getting Little Caesars. And Friday, we went out with family. So this actually wraps up our video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you liked it. Uh, consider subscribing. I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.